A wet morning for the start of round three in Hamilton with series leader Jamie Wincup looking for his third win of the year. The treacherous conditions certain to test the field throughout the day. Sideways, right out onto the kerb and up and over the kerb. Hot on Wincup's heels, Mark Winterbottom was leading the charge early in qualifying, whilst Craig Lowndes looked to continue the form that saw him claim the fastest time in Friday's final practice session. 2006 champ Rick Kelly then setting his sights on the top of the timesheet. So Van Gisbergen from Lowndes, from Winkup from Johnson, Kelly. and Rick Kelly goes to the top with a 35.98. As Neil said, this is going to change. There's 11 minutes to go. This is, going to, this is going to rotate hard. It was inevitable that the conditions would begin to take their toll, and whilst Winkup was fortunate to escape any serious damage, defending series champion James Courtney wasn't so lucky. The even better news for James is that he's outside the top ten regardless. The toll HRT Commodore out of the running for a spot in the top ten shootout. Paul Dumbrell following him soon after. Can't stop and wheels straight in the fence. The brakes locked at the end, but I wonder whether he either caught both pedals or he had a throttle jam or something of that nature. Whilst Dumbrell emerged gingerly from the vehicle, the second red flag of the session left little time for changes to the order. And it was Stephen Johnson that led the field into the shootout, narrowly ahead of Rick Kelly and Shane Van Gisbergen, with Lowndes and Wincup also in the mix. Garth Tander was first to jump in the battle for pole and a careful strategy from the West Australian saw his time hold firm through the first five drivers. The morning downpour still having an impact with the street circuit bearing its teeth and the challenges falling by the wayside. Oh, go around off very wide, wide, wide five. five. <laughs> so nowhere near enough tyre temperature all grip for Greg Murphy. Jamie Wincup then showing them how it should be done to beat off Tander's mark by 1.2 seconds. Well, in these conditions, at this circuit, that's as close to perfection as you're going to get in a one-lap shootout. Teammate Craig Lowndes couldn't match the series leader's effort, and while Shane Van Gisbergen threw caution to the wind, the Kiwi's bravery didn't quite get him over the line. But there has been so much pressure on this young guy, and he continues to throw it down. Can he beat the clock and get up to the top of the timesheets in this shootout? Oh, Just no. a whisker! Rick Kelly was looking the goods until a minor error saw him slot into second, which left Stephen Johnson as the only driver who could grab top spot. Come on, Stevie. Waiting to see if Stevie Johnson can become the first man to get two pole positions Good on treatment. the streets of Hamilton. This is going to be so tight. The last part of this lap has been perfect, oh. but not good enough. So close. Excellent performance. The Jim Beam Falcon threatening till the end but falling just short of Wincup's effort, leaving the two-time series champion perfectly positioned to shoot for his third win of the year. Kelly and Van Gisbergen making up the second row ahead of Lowndes and Tander. Rennie Field, Big Pond Sport.